Hi guys, this is Nick from Acton Custom. We had a customer order for the uh, comp uh, FIA style splash guard to go around the gas cap. Um, I just wanted to show you how we form these to shape. Um, it's the same method we use on the bottom flanges of our dash panels and also for the um, splash guards obviously. So we CNC plasma cut these out of aluminum. Um, we're typically using a formable alloy. We're using like a 3003 alloy for the uh, formable stuff, the stuff that we're trying to put some shape into. Um, so we've got the flat pattern plasma cut. Uh, we deburr that. It's got plastic protective coating on one side. As you can see, we've taken the flat development and we've bent a flange across the bottom of it that you can see there. We have a printout of the CAD drawing of the shape of this um, splash guard that we're going to be making. And we're simply going to use the uh, shrinker stretcher to start putting some shape into this. Um, there's two different die sets in these two different machines. One does stretching and one does shrinking. And how they work is they have jaws on the inside of them that grip the flange or they grip the material that you put between them and then they're working on either an internal V or an external V where they, once they've gripped the material they will either spread it or they will shrink it back together. So in this case we're going to be, and we could make this fuel filler splash guard with either a stretched flange or a shrunk flange if we do a stretch flange, the flange would be on the outside, and then how we're making them is we're doing it with a shrunk flange on the inside. So we're just going to start gathering up some material in the jaws here. I've laid out where the bend starts, and I'm simply going to start at the beginning and start moving evenly along and shrinking this. So you can see what's happening here is the jaws grip it and then I don't, if you look down from the top perhaps you might get a good look at it and when I squeeze it with the handle it's mm -hmm. pulling the jaws together and because it's shrinking that bottom flange you can see already it's starting to put curve or shape into the material. And I'm just going to evenly space my shrinks on the flange to get an even curve into the material and I'm going to keep doing that until it gets to a shape that looks something like what I have on paper and I will keep trying it over my pattern until I have the shape that I want. So, like I said, that's something we used for the splash guards. We also use it for the bottom flanges of our dash panels. A uh, very useful little tool. And shrinking puts an internal curve on it. Stretching puts an external curve on it. Um, yeah, it's uh, a neat metalworking tool to play around with and uh, make different parts for our cars on. 